Hi everyone, how are you? I'm so sorry I haven't been uploading any videos. Um, my sister's neighbour was sick and I've been helping look after the Oni. Um, unfortunately, well, I, I don't need to look after the Oni anymore. So I have been able to craft. I just haven't been able to upload videos. So how are you all? I've really missed, missed talking to everyone. Um, I've missed uploading videos. So I'm going to get into the video and I'm going to show you what I've been up to today. The first thing I made was for my sister. <clears throat> we all know that Mother's Day is coming up. So I made this 3D book Mother's Day card. I hope you can see that. And do pop a comment and let me know which one you like the most. You will have to forgive my nails. I have spray paint and inks and all types of wonderful things on there. So there's that one. And it closes like this. Like a book. And then I created... She's having a baby so I figured as I'm creating cards I may as well go ahead and make her a it's a girl card there we are and if I come a bit closer there we are hope you can see all of that and I put a little duck there on the top um, I also created this one, and this one is for my mum. And then if I come a bit closer, you'll be able to see. And then... And again, this just closes like a book, and you do it up with the piece of lace. And I've also been up to some other projects, so if you stay there, give me one second. Right, to start with, these were inspired by Ida, who is Created to Create, here on YouTube. And I wasn't able to upload videos, but I could craft, so I cut out a load of butterflies. And I'll link the video that she put up. And I just made them while she was sleeping, and I was able to craft. There we are. Then I also made some dragonflies and then I made some of these 3D shaker frames um, sorry about the glare I've actually made quite a few of them and I made, oops they're the easiest shakers if you'd like to know how to make them pop a comment and i'll come on and do a video the quickest easiest shakers i've ever ever made and then i also made some mini ones um I also have some more stuff I'd like to show you. Uh, I made this little Easter bag and I'm showing this because I'm going to send this to Pip. So Pip, if you're watching, look away. And that is for Pip Field. She doesn't have a channel. So I also made a couple of these little boxes. And then I've got one more thing to show you. One second. 
I made more of the dragonflies. But I also said I would tell you I was going to make some of this clay from Hobbycraft. Um, sorry about shaking the camera there. This is the air dry clay from Hobbycraft. And I said that when I use it, I'll let you know how I get on with it and what I think. It is absolutely fabulous. Excuse the plate. This is where I dry all of my... And then they start like this. If you notice the cherub there as well. And then I've been spray painting them. Sorry, one of their legs broke whilst I was drying them. I spray painted them and they turn out so beautiful. And then the little tiny cherubs. And I spray painted quite a lot of these. Super easy. The spray paint I used was this hardcore. And this is from Hobbycraft. And I sealed it with hairspray. I also sealed my butterflies with hairspray too. And the wings of the dragonflies. So that when you touch them. Let me just pick one up. When you touch them, you don't get all glitter falling off. And the glitter stays on there. And that's really, that's stuck on there really well. Don't have any glitter on my hands, as you can see. So that's just a tip. So these are the things that I've been up to. I've also started to package up some of my molds. And these are for Wendy Loves Crafting. So Wendy, don't look. Because I didn't want them to get all bashed up. In the post so I hope you like this video everyone I've also got um, some hauls coming I just haven't been able to record and let me know I absolutely love these I think they are absolutely beautiful I'll give you one more close-up they're just absolutely adorable and they're so quick and easy to make so thank you Michelle Dobby who was the one who told me about this and Deb Hendrick. And I also added some glitter in there as well because I wanted to see and it turns out absolutely fabulous as you can see there. So thank you for watching everyone. I hope you're having a great evening and don't forget to pop a comment. Let me know what your best... Um, or what your favourite craft was. And I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous evening. Bye everyone.